Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar, and of course, this is another episode from the Amazon Review Series. This is also going to be a kickoff to a new uh, series in conjunction with Amazon. I do have some spinoffs there. If you guys want to check it out, um, you know, there will be the links and everything here at the end of the video. Uh, now, this is based off of, well, this right here, a bicycle light. Now, you guys have seen a few other bicycle lights that I've done, uh, or you may have. And uh, this is by a company that I have gotten uh, not just bicycle lights, but lights in general from quite often. I do generally like their stuff very well. Uh, it's usually pretty good quality, and uh, it's they do, they've just made some really good lights. Uh, in the past, and that is Vastfire. And so uh, Vastfire contacted me about this one, asked me if I wanted to try and check this out. Uh, so we have this new one. And uh, it comes in a simple box. Um, it was mailed in a, uh, I believe it was just mailed in a bag, but that's, just, you know, Amazon, however they decide to package stuff. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside here. We've got a few components. Obviously, one of the first things we've got is the USB cable, and that is a USB-C connector. So you can see that, and of course, it's just the A on the back end. We've got uh, another USB thing here, and that is because this is the tail light. And as you can see here, it is a straight bar. The USB is, this is a USB B micro, so this is the older style. So the main light uses the C, the uh, smaller rear light uses the the uh, B micro. Uh, now this came and look, as you can see, it has the attachment strap already connected to it, so you don't actually have to do that yourself, but you can disconnect it. Just pull this and uh, it will adjust and uh, come off as you can see here, it adjusts up and down, or, well, yeah, up and down, because this is set so that it runs sideways. Uh, and then this, of course, goes around the seat post, or just a rear post of your choosing. And uh, you can use each of these notches to make it looser or tighter, depending. Uh, let's see. Now, be careful. There's probably going to be some flashing, so want to warn you of that but we've got the five leds going across here they might be a little hard to see in the camera probably all blending together we've got some different kind of back and forth motions as you can see they're splitting apart as well as sliding kind of back and forth so we've got that side motion as well as this uh, kind of radiating motion kind of makes me think of kit from knight rider then we've got the flashing that I told you about. Then there's some more kind of flashing and sliding going back and forth. And then it's off. So you've got, uh, what was that, four settings right there that you've got that you can uh, use this. And let's see, where is the... We're going to take a quick look. I think we're going to try and disconnect this. Slide that out. And that's you just pull this back to do that. And our connector, oh, it's on the end, so I didn't actually even have to take it off. But to plug it in, it is just this little rubber thing on the end. You just got to kind of get in there and pop it up. And sometimes they're a little bit difficult. There we go. Got it. And there you go. There's the connector. So that can get plugged in. And now we can go ahead and charge it. Um, but it did come with a little bit of charge. Hopefully this will last because we are going to take this outside. So there we go. We've got the first section kind of out and taken care of. Uh, we've got a couple more components in here. And let's see. So we've got the main holding piece for the main light. And this is a screw design. So you screw that. It pivots out, and then that goes around your handlebars or some type of crossbar, generally speaking. You could put it across the vertical uh, if you have enough room and if it's the right size and everything. 
and it will turn, of course, the light sideways, but it would still work. Uh, it just kind of, usually they have a wide beam, and they're made to go horizontal, but depending on how you want to use it. And uh, here we have the release lever. It is going to be a slide-on. It looks like a, yep, got that dovetail design. You can see it a little better right there, maybe. So, and then right here, of course, they've got, uh, I'm going to assume this is maybe Mandarin, um, as well as uh, maybe some other languages. I'm not sure. No, it looks like it's maybe Mandarin and then in English. And uh, this here you go, is the model, so the WG705. So a little bit of instruction, tells you how to put it on, shows you what it looks like, basic things like that, tells you some of the features. All right, and then we've got the main light. This is kind of nice. I like the, the fact that it's in a little satchel type thing, kind of a velvet bag. Uh, I can kind of, you know, it can keep it in good condition. And then we've got this right here. Now, like most of Vastfire's lights that they've put out, this is an aluminum body. Uh, very, very rugged. Uh, inside of here should probably be two 18650 batteries that are rechargeable. You have uh, the screw plate on the back there, so maybe in the future if the batteries die or whatever, you can uh, unscrew the back plate and... Uh, replace those and then we've got the USB connectors right there so we've got the USB-C there and then we've got the USB-A there of course one thing that's very common with vast fires lights is they make it so that you can charge other devices with their lights now when you've got two 18650 batteries this could easily recharge this and still have quite a bit of charge it can also be used to, of course, charge your phone, or, I mean, I don't know why you would, but you could charge other lights as well, beyond, you know, just the backup light in case you needed that, or the, maybe just the rear semi-brake light type thing. But uh, that is your option there. Uh, now, here, we've got this here. We're going to go ahead and believe it should slide on just like this from the front. Is that it? Nope, looks like maybe I'm wrong on that. Maybe it comes in from the other way. Or maybe I'm just not lining it up right. So, there it is. Slid right in. Now I set that so it's that way. I believe it might go on the other way. It is very snug. But you press that little piece down to release it. And there we go. Now, we've got, as you can see, five LEDs. Let's go ahead and check it out and see what we're going to get. Now remember again, this may be flashing, so if you're sensitive to that, be be careful. But there we've got a single, what seems to be a lower beam. Now we've only got 9% of battery on this, so now it shows all five lights lit up on here for me. We hit it there. You can see it just got a little brighter. And a little brighter yet. And now it's off. So, low, medium, high, and off. Then I did a double click and it looks like it went straight to high. If I hold it, it shuts it off. Oh, it popped it back on. Maybe I held it too long. Okay, just a tap. So, there we go. Low, medium, high, off, or hold it straight to high. Oh, there we go. There's the flashing. It's a few different ways. If you hold it or you click through it some, it'll give you some different things. But basically, four settings. Your four settings, of course, low, medium, high, and then it does have the flashing. So, which is pretty standard for a lot of these. Sometimes they have the fast flash. Since this is not a regular handheld light, though it could very easily be used that way. I have used some of my others that way. Um, since it's not that directly meant for that, it doesn't have maybe that fast flash, the blinding flash um, for safety, but of course this is still a nice solid piece of aluminum, so if needed 
it can be used to help protect yourself in other ways. But that is not the point of this. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead outside. I'm going to check this out, uh, probably try and go over there to the park like we usually do. And uh, if I can get over there, and we'll see what this looks like at night. All right, everybody, so we're out here at uh, the park like I am, usually am. I am in the softball field, and, uh, well, as you can see, very difficult to see, unfortunately. My eyes can see a little better than the camera can. Uh, we've got the headlight here, and first thing I'll do is click it on, and there we go. You can see the number right there. And that number nine, um, that is maximum charge, turns out. I thought that uh, that it, I didn't realize it only has a single digit rather than double digit or triple digit. So you don't see full percentage. So it goes to nine. I think it drops all the way down to zero. Obviously zero being a zero charge. When it is charging, there is a little dot at the bottom right of the nine. And on here, as far as I can see, it looks like that is going to be um, kind of white looking to you guys on the screen. It is actually the standard kind of red. But we are on the low beam right now. You guys can't really see it. I can see it shining through the air because of the dust. But if I aim it down, there we go. So this is the area. Um, essentially, let's see, right there. Right there is my the home plate so so we've got home plate right there again this is a softball field so um, pretty close to a standard baseball field uh, in terms of size uh, this as it goes across across the field and stuff um, you're not going to be able to see everything. Unfortunately, I'm noticing the grass seems to absorb a lot of the light. Even though I can see it, you can't see it on camera very well. Um, but the dirt does reflect it a lot better. But if you go clear over to the light that is literally right in the middle of the screen right now, um, that light is going to be about 100 and probably 10 to 120 yards away from where I'm at. So this is a full football length you know, more than a football length field. Um, but we've got the low brightness. We're shining out. You can see out there right about where it starts to fade is the back is past actually where first base is at. I can see first base from here. Um, you can't really see it on the screen. If I go up a little bit more, then the focus gets onto the grass. And as I can see, it doesn't seem to show up on screen very well. I can actually see there is a row of trees. Those trees that line the park, they go all the way kind of across here. Um, from me, they're going to be about 75 yards, give or take. Um, and I can actually see the light reflecting off of the trees going straight out as well as on an angle. I can see most of the way across the park with this. So that's what we're seeing and i'm not adjusting any of this uh so what you see is actually not even quite as well as what you get um, the beam of course looks much more focused uh, it is not as focused when you're looking at it in real life it does diffuse out more so you do have a larger area that's lit rather than that focused beam now let's go ahead and We'll click the button, and what I found is that first one, it lit up, and it would have said a number one. If I click it again, and let me get it. There, you see a number two popped up. That means it's on the second one, and you see how much brighter that is. Uh, now, of course, you saw there for a second um, each one of these having how many lumens they're supposed to be rated at, as well as how long they're supposed to last um, in terms of the battery when it's at full charge. But you've got this area. This is lighting up the infield pretty darn well. I mean, obviously, it's still spot. It's not a floodlight, so it doesn't light up the entire infield. But it lights up all the way to easily to the edge of the outfield without any problems. I mean, you can see that's, that's second base clear back there. Where you're seeing lit up, that is second base back there. You can see, um, actually, 
So we're going here is home plate. You've got the pitcher's mound. And then all the way in the back, back there, it's a little harder to see. You've got second base back there where it is reflecting from. And then we hit it again. There's three. There's your max brightness. And yes, it is kind of blinding. Um, just like it kind of seems to be on the screen, it is super bright. Um, it is easily lighting out. Yeah, this goes clear out into the outfield. Um, I'm not sure if you can quite see it or not. I'm hoping almost. It almost seems to want to do it where you can see the light up of the trees across the way. So if we do the long button press, we're going to have the flashing light, um, which we saw before. Uh, so this is a flash warning, so you know. And hold it. And there we go. We've got that flash. And the flash is at between medium and high, I believe. High is really where it's at. Though because it's flashing, it won't use as much power because it's not a continuous drain. It is a slow drain. If you guys want to check this out, you can go down in the description below and uh, there will be a link to this on the Amazon site. Sorry about the background noise. And uh, of course, there's going to be all the social media down there as well as the, uh, the thumbs up button, subscribe, uh, the uh, bell icon so you know when new videos are coming out. And there is the Venmo and PayPal links if you guys want to help out the channel so I can continue bringing uh, more products like this to you again this one was sent to me directly by the company so fortunately i didn't have to pay for it uh, but they are not sponsoring this video this is my completely uh honest review so there we go all right guys well i'd like to wish you all a good day and i will see you later bye